apparently some Republicans are reassessing the coronavirus threat. Congressman Matt Gates, who mocked concerns by wearing a gas mask on the floor of the House, just put himself into self-quarantine after coming into contact with someone diagnosed with it. Gates also hitched a ride with you-know-who on Air Force One, and they shared all that air in the plane. <laughs> and the Washington oh Post released a montage of the mixed messages the administration seems to be sending. Take a look. Looks like by April, you know, in theory, when it gets a little warmer, it miraculously goes away. I hope that's true. This virus is probably with us beyond this season or beyond this year. View this the same as the flu. The mortality of this is multiple times what seasonal flu is. We think this is something that we can develop fairly rapidly, a vaccine. A vaccine that you make and start testing in a year is not a vaccine that's deployable. So, yeah. He still hasn't been tested, even though another congressman in self-quarantine, Doug Collins, was shaking his hand. And is all this downplaying of this kind of coming back to bite folks? I mean, well, I don't think he wants to be tested, because if they find he has it, the stock market will go yeah. bananas, mm. and that impacts his re-election campaign, which is all he's thinking about all the time, you know, because he's afraid he's going to go to jail. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's the truth. I just, I just think that's so dangerous that the commander in chief has been obviously possibly exposed to the coronavirus and would not be tested. I mean, I know that there's a dearth of tests, test but you would kits. think, test kits, yeah, but you yeah. would think he would be able, as the president, to have access to he at least one. He doesn't want it, he doesn't want it. I, 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 well, I agree with you. Sense. The political implications of he ends up having coronavirus would be absolutely cataclysmic. Oh, yeah. And by the way, you see rallies with all the candidates running who are all well into their late 70s. And I don't know how smart it is for Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders to be doing rallies at this point. We don't, there's a lot people don't know. Yeah. The average age of the average person in Congress is 57.6. Nancy Pelosi is 79. Mitch McConnell is 78. These are politicians that are traveling to and from their districts. There's a lot of misinformation that we don't know. I'm not a doctor. Don't take my medical advice, but I am someone who lives in logic, and I don't know why we're shutting down Italy if this isn't a problem. Like, yeah. if you get the flu, yeah. you don't shut down an entire well, country. I'll tell exactly. you why. I, well, I'll tell you why. Let me tell you what, they, okay. what the Italians have done. The Italians are, <coughs> have decided they are going to err on the side of their people. And so there's a lot of Italy, as you know, it's a mm -hmm. very nice country, very large country, mm -hmm. that is not infected. But you can't go from point A to point B without them checking you. My partner, mm -hmm. not my, not my lovey partner, mm -hmm. <laughs> but Your my business, business partner. partner, just got back from Italy. Mm -hmm. And when he landed, they said, and where have you been? He said, I'm coming out of Italy. And they said, well, welcome home. No information, let me check your temperature, let me... Nothing. Now, he's as healthy as they come. But I just, I find it so insane that people are getting off planes and you, we're not, not, we're not testing, testing them. them. And then we well, listen we can't. to there all are no this test other kits, stuff. Apparently. Well, you can take a you damn can, temperature. You can take a temperature, though. Yeah, exactly. well, of course. Stick some in my mouth. I'll tell you yeah, if I'm not. I know. High, you know. I know. But there's no protocol. Know. You know what worries me, though, the most? And, and I, I've been thinking about this often. You're talking about Americans who are obviously going to have to make the choice between going to work and staying at home. Because the advice we're all getting is, if you have a temperature, if you have a cough, stay at home because you don't want to infect other people if you possibly have this virus. 59% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. Yep. One in four Americans don't have a sick paid leave because we don't have that. Only, you know, 12 states and, and D.C. Mm -hmm. have sick paid leave. There's no federal law that requires sick paid leave. So if you have to go to work to, to you know, pay your family, to, to pay for your groceries, you're going to go to work. You're not going to stay at home. And that's the problem that I think so many people yes. are facing. And that's why it is possible that this is going to spread in not, this country. It's a problem Italy doesn't have. It's a problem Italy doesn't have. The idea that the spring and summer is going to come and everything's going to be fine with warm weather, this is in Iran and Australia. Yeah. It's extremely hot. So, again, please stop with the BS because, again, it, I am not a doctor, but it doesn't mm. take just sheer 
common sense or observation. to understand, or observation yeah. Yeah. to yeah. understand this is obviously and larger. And yet 43%, uh, Quinnipiac poll says 43% of registered voters uh, nationwide approve of Trump's handling of the coronavirus. It's that same sort of group of people that follow him no matter what he says. But with all those mixed messages that we just showed? And also, he believes that windmills but, cause cancer. Why but, would you believe him because, anything? Because I think part of the problem is this is being politicized it. on both sides. And I was watching um, Fox last night, and, or Fox Business, and there was a specific clip that was just, I mean, saying that it was a left-wing conspiracy. Yeah. And I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but you can find it on the internet if you're that curious. It's and hitting left-wing states, by the way. Yeah, it's hitting everything. And I think part of the problem is um, why this is so, not to make this macabre, but why this is interesting politically is it seems like the chickens have finally come home to roost with his misinformation because mm -hmm. it's one thing to say get windmills cause cancer. It's one thing to say, oh, I, you know, I, I, there's a thousand, a, mil, a million people yeah. at my rally, whatever. Yeah. It's an entirely different thing to say this potentially deadly virus That's that right. is, glo uh, you know, globally global. hitting everywhere mm -hmm. is no problem here. And I actually think it is one of the few things that could really hit this election in an interesting way. We have an election night tonight. Mm -hmm. And how many people we're going to end up going to the polls in the same way that they would if there was this yes. also wasn't going on. Yeah. So I think the politics of this, and again, I'm not trying to turn this oh, into that, yeah, no. but it's really You're fascinating right. with the speech right. of the election. And I have to. I have to. <laughs> yes. So my business partner, uh, I have not seen him since he's come back because he decided he would. Uh, Self-quarantine. Self yeah. Not self-quarantine. It's something else, because he he's Isolate. not sick. He's, he's isolating self -isolated. himself. And so I haven't seen him. And he doesn't want to get me sick. Right. You know, so I'm not, so everybody calm down. It, oh my God, she knows somebody. Yeah. You know? Well, we love yeah. you, Tom, well, but I, I stay think, home. I think it's <laughs> just that, you know, you were very ill last year and everyone's always yeah. concerned about yes. your health. Well, so. we are, we are, we are, nobody's more concerned than we are about my yeah. health. And so, yeah. but everyone should realize that people, you know, when you look at what other countries have decided to do, they've decided in Italy that they're going to tell their people, you need to stay home and we're going to help supplement that. Mm -hmm. That's what you yes. do when you say, we have a, we think we have a potential problem and we're going to try to fix yeah. it. What you don't do is say, well, it's not, it's not really a problem. No, that's where, the worst Where is the thing economic no. response yeah. from from the White House for those workers, the one in four workers that well, don't Well, he's doing a payroll tax or well, something. Well, we'll, we'll see. But that doesn't see. help. No.